Hi guys, welcome once again to me, Fisher Rob, and the Novice Angler channel. Uh, what are we doing today? Well, I've decided to pop a little video out about a couple of the things that you can use on the riverbank, um, equipment wise. So, the first thing we're going to do as a review is a cracking little landing net called the Guru 500. Now, this is a uni thread landing net, so it will go on any of your bank sticks, etc., or your um, net landing sticks, etc. It's got um, the rubber seal here, so it's got a uh, non slip rubber there, so you're not going to get the, the net actually twisting um, at all on the rod there. Um, the mesh itself is absolutely super soft, very, very nice soft mesh. Um, it's 6mm, I think, approximately in size. It's got a very durable framework to the actual net so there's a lot of long life and it'll take lots of bumps and lumps etc like that um, it's all dark in color apart from the typical guru coloring there of the orange thread and the label of course but the net itself is black the framework is black and this is all for a reason this is to try and keep your fish calm once you've landed it um, so uh, you just lift it out etc and being a nice sort of middle size it's not one of the huge ones that you can get i mean i've also got a 42 inch landing net and sometimes when you're dragging that out the water it does take a bit of uh, <laughs> a bit of arm power um, to get a nice big fish and uh, all that water filtering through the net lifting it all out in one go so this is very very nice for that it's a competitive size and it's a heck of a lot easier to lift off the uh lift out of the water i should say um, it's got a very durable spreader block so this unit here that uh, spreads it and keeps it all solidly it's all well screwed together at the bottom and uh, it's a very very nice solid sort of landing net for you um, retails mm, depending on where you buy probably somewhere between 14 and 20 pounds uk sterling um, but it's a very durable and long life net um, it's got a, an extra seam at the bottom so you know very very nice indeed and uh, very very well tailored for your fishing needs now the second thing we're going to have a quick look at today is the shimano bait runner reel this is the 10,000 version it's the big heavy duty reel um, but it follows the typical shimano gearing system it's a beautiful reel um, it's got oh, where do we start you've got your double handle your gear ratio is 4.6 to 1, so that's in one full cycle of the handle. The spool will rotate just over four and a half times, so you've got excellent line recovery. Um, you can get some spools that are sort of 9 to 1 ratio. They are absolutely manic. Whoosh, they pull the line in at a huge rate, but this is a good middle of the road bait runner. Um, this also what I like about this it has the arc system the AR-C system etc which is very very useful it prevents a lot of the um, backlash from your lines when casting out uh, wind knots that sort of, sort of design um, very very simple system it's a push button reel or spool lever so you push that down and it comes off simple as that line it back up and it should push home with a click um, okay, you've also got the typical bait run lever at the back. By pushing that forward, allows the spool to free wheel. But also what I like at the back of this one, there's two settings, not just one drag, there's two drags. And one drag is purely for how much that free spool rotates, how easily it does. At the back of that, you have the master drag, which of course, once you've turned, and you've got your bait run lever back into the proper drag position when you're actually fighting the fish then the second drag comes into operation on how much movement the main cog has or the main spool has when you're fighting the fish it's x7 carb style so it's a very very durable framework it looks after all the components inside it's not going to uh, you break at the slightest drop etc it's very very durable 
Um, I did make a note of a couple of bits here on a pad. Um, yes, die cast gearing and power rollers. Now, that again is a big one. Some of these companies make gearings which can wear out very easily, um, especially if it's a high retrieval rate ratio. But um, with Shimano, you have years of technology behind it so it's a very very good uh, reel itself um, and all the gearing is long life um, another aspect of it again bearings can wear out um, and can cause all manner of vibration on the reel when you're spooling back in again the shimano doesn't get that it's shielded bearings basically they're a coated bearing um, they turn them shielded um, so it gives them extremely long life and very very good reliability you're not going to get what they, i think they used to call it speed wobble um, usually applied to motorcycles but uh, here when you're doing this and you're reeling in it quickly da, 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 bring it all in all the power that you're applying to that handle goes to the gearing you're not going to get movement of the actual spool because things are wearing out inside and it's all wobbling and things like that. So there's a whole pile of work that has gone into this one. What else have we got here? Power rollers. Yeah, the cut bales, that's fine. Yeah, double handle is interchangeable. So you're left or right handed. You just undo that little screw there. You can take out the handle and pop it onto the other side and then just pop that cap into the opposite side and tighten it all up. And you've then got a very, very positive uh, power handle there. It uh, has the typical stud on the side here for selecting and tying your line up. Um, and the ratios on here, let me just read them off for you. Um, the diameter, if it's 0.30, you're talking 500 yards. 0.35, 350 yards. 0.40, 250 yards. Um, and as I say, the bail arm, very, very positive very very solidly fixed together everything about the shimano bait runner reel shouts quality um, as a say carbon twin drag system at the back one for the free spool one for the main fighting spool as i call it um, very very good looking reel finished completely in a matte black so it'll look good on any of your rods so that's the Shimano 10,000 bait runner reel. I believe they used to call it the ST, I think ST bait runner reel. Um, and of course, the Guru landing net. Uh, you can pick these up, as I say, for between 14 and 20 pounds. Um, this is the Guru 500, I believe they do a 400. Um, and uh, there's also some other later ranges that have added. This came out about 2016, to be accurate. Um, but um, it's still a very, very popular net, and um, it's a very competitively priced one. So a good one if you don't want to be dragging these huge 42-inch nets out the water. You can use one of these very easily and land your fish. So there you go, a lightning quick review of a couple of articles that you might find yourself using this year on the riverbank. Thanks for watching. Thank you.